Hi everyone, my name is Tony Branner. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm a mom, a grandmother, a wellness professional, and a presidential marketing director with the Juice Plus company. I've been a customer for 26 years and a partner for 19 years, and it's my extreme pleasure to get to share with you today information about how we can create community among our team and our customer base. My definition sounds something like this, building a legacy by bringing people together for a common mission. If you look in the dictionary, it's more like this. A community is a group of people linked by a specific subject or specialty, like inspiring healthy living, a passion, maybe like making a difference, an interest, health, wellness, gardening, entrepreneurship. Maybe they're linked by a mission, turning our sick care world back into a well care world one person at a time. Maybe a set of problems like nobody eats enough fruits and vegetables or our food supply is not as nutritious as when our grandparents were children and we need a little gap insurance. Maybe it's a set of solutions like our amazing Juice Plus plant powders, our Juice Plus complete products, our tower gardens, our education, our support, and our supplemental income. We have so many levels of community that we can enjoy through this um, Juice Plus company. We have our global Juice Plus community. I love learning from people in Australia and UK and getting to know people from all over the world. I love our United States and Canadian teams that we get to interact with. And some of my very best friends are people that I've met through this company. We have our team communities, our customer communities, and then our little tiny communities that are our own individual customers and our team members that we bring onto our teams. When we build strong communities, great things start to happen. We see more trust, more credibility, more belief, People love to belong and they love to have fun. And when we make that happen, they never leave, they stick around. We start to see more confidence in our mission and people start to have more courage to step outside of their comfort zone. Our customers become more solidified and start sending us referrals and start inviting friends to our events. We start to see team members developing goals and we see leaders start to emerge. When I first started this business, I thought leadership was you were the boss. I was a professor and director of the wellness center and I was just used to telling people what to do. And I quickly learned that that wasn't going to work. And when we create strong communities, we start to develop servant leaders or what the research calls collaborative leaders. And I love this definition from one of the research studies. Collaborative leaders move the process along by sharing inspiring visions, focusing on results, strengthening relationships, being open and inclusive, bringing out the best in others and celebrating achievement. We love celebrating. Collaborative leadership is not a specific set of activities. It means being versatile, playing whatever role is necessary to bring out real change and lasting impact within the community. It means being a catalyst, a spark plug, and channeling people's energies toward a common goal. Today, you're going to be blown away by four national marketing directors that are going to share so many ideas on how to build community among your teams and your customer base. Don't be overwhelmed if you're a brand new person. Just start to get involved. Start to be a part of the community. If you're a leader, maybe take some of these ideas and expand upon them and make them fit into your vision of what you want your Juice Plus community to look like. So first we have Caroline Lewis-Jones, brand new national marketing director, who's going to share some of her team's strategies. Enjoy. 
Hi, everyone. My name is Caroline Lewis-Jones. I am so excited to be here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Tony, for that awesome opening. I am from Columbia, South Carolina. I am 39. I have two wonderful, um, cute little boys, as you can see here. This is my husband, Hans. We live in Columbia, South Carolina. I am a national marketing director with the Juice Plus Company, partnered with the Health Made Simple community for 15 years. Um, I'm a professional dancer and choreographer and also a certified plant-based lifestyle coach. So I get the honor of talking about creating community and what that means. So Health Made Simple was created by Tony Branner almost 20 years ago. I found Juice Plus when I was 23 and joined this community when I was 24 and just can't say enough wonderful things about it. So our team leads with education and relationships. So my Juice Plus community is filled with good as well as our Health Made Simple community is filled with good. And hopefully you feel that way about your community. And um, our community team page and portal is, is really important to us. This is a place where we can cross network with our partners. We can build confidence within our partners um, have access to all of our resources, whether they're coming through corporate or whether they're coming from the Health Made Simple community. It creates camaraderie, um, creates that one mission mentality, but also with many purposes, um, team building and creating this for everyone. Well, whether you are just newly joining us, welcome, or if you are, you know, been doing this for a really long time. Um, so we have a community team page where we filter all of our resources and great information into, but we also have a, actually a portal where you can find all these things. So that could be something that your community wants to do. It's been a great um, resource for us and just a way that we can really um, unite and come as one. We love our welcome, welcoming our new partners. This is so important to us. Look at all these beautiful faces. We want to be able to link our partners um, together with common interest, right? We want to be able to show where they are, who they're, you know, where they're from, who they are, families, their passions. And again, this creates community, welcoming everyone to your wonderful tribe of people. Um, celebrations and moments in life are very, very important. I think sometimes we get caught up in life and with work, and we often don't think about celebrating these, you know, monumental um, moments in life whether you, you know, just had a baby or getting married, um, maybe you're retired from your job, or maybe you, you know, decided to take on your Juice Plus business full force. Maybe you just jumped on Broadway, <laughs> or maybe you're just on a, a TV show or um, um, new show talking about, um, you know, eating more plant-based. These are all really wonderful celebrations and moments in life that we need to recognize. Um, Next, we have our recognition of our partners and their accomplishments. You know, whether you have a brand new qualified business, maybe you're brand new and you just hit your partner plus, you know, you just created the Dare to Lead Brene Brown program, whatever it is, these moments need to be recognized. You know, you can never be too much of a cheerleader for your partners and your team. And we love them and celebrate them and wanna make sure that their accomplishments um, are recognized, right? And again, this is part of the creating community. Uh, a way that we start our, um, our start our week with our community, Health Made Simple, is we have our weekly announcements that Tony and Jenna put together for us. And this is fantastic. So as you can see on the right, it starts with a quote of the week. It starts with all of the verbiage in terms of you know, what we have going on, all of our wonderful flyers that, you know, um, that are created for us. So this is a game changer. Um, so all these announcements are in one place and are sent out on Sunday, either in our, Vo well, in our Voxer chats, right? But also on our team Facebook page that we just spoke about a second ago. So highly encourage you to do this. It just gets everybody on the same page, sets the intention for the week. Um, and again, gets us excited and creates that community. So everybody does their business differently and we totally know that. These are just some things that we have done as Health Made, with, with Health Made Simple that have really, um, that really have helped us. And it helps create that healthy habit also for your business. And um, we want you to feel successful and supported. Every Sunday night, we have our game plan chat. This is awesome. It's about 15 to 20 minutes. And it's a connection call to set our focuses for the week. Everyone is encouraged to come and to write down who they're gonna connect with and personally invite. And again, this really does keep us on track. 
Um, we also have a wonderful power hour worksheet. Um, I actually print five of these for the week, Monday through Friday. And on Sunday, I write Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on the top of my sheet. And then I know exactly what I'm gonna do for that day. In that, you know, whether it's 30 minutes or an hour, it really helps keep me organized. And again, that creates community, right? I'll send those to my team members and be like, hey, don't forget to fill this out. So it just keeps them excited and um, keeps, them, keeps them focused, right? Because we're all really, really busy individuals. Uh, Jenna and I created a really awesome call called Make a Life Monday. And this is just an opportunity for us to um, invite potential new team you know, partners to our, to our community. Um, just share people what we're doing. And what we do here, I think what is, which is really important is that we Zoom our business calls into our community Facebook page that, that Jenna is gonna talk about in a second. So we Zoom our business call into those community Facebook pages. And I think a lot of times it creates curiosity. And also just because someone doesn't like something at the bottom of maybe a post, it doesn't mean they're not watching, right? you're creating this community and, and people are watching and they're looking and they're becoming curious. So I encourage you to really take that step and do that. Super easy um, to do that through Zoom. This also builds leadership and all of our leaders get on these calls as well to create energy and again, that love and support. So this is a great one, Make a Life Monday. We also have our pro spotlight. So every Tuesday we have what's called our solutions call that either Tony, Jenna, or myself, or one of our leaders hosts. And then right after that, we have our 30 minute connection call with all of our um, Health Made Simple partners. And this is a this to me is the place where confidence and leadership grows. And every week we, we have a pro spotlight, Health Made Simple pro spotlight. So you see Andrea and Harley and Amy and Amanda here. These are just a few of our spotlights throughout the past couple months. And these um, individuals get about five minutes just to talk about three success tips, three things that are working for them and helping build their business. It doesn't mean that they have the, you know, the biggest business in our community, it, but what it does mean is that they're showing up for their business, they're showing up for their community, for their, for their team. And um, it, it really has been a wonderful tool for all of us to learn, right? Because there's no right answer, in my opinion, in this business. Um, and we can never stop being a student. I know that is dance. So always be a good student, keep learning because there's so many different ways that we can share, right? This beautiful message of Juice Plus. Um, we have our weekly coaching calls to focus on our wins and our challenges, um, you know, trials and tribulations or those awesome moments where like, yes, you know, that, that three-way call was awesome. So um, this is something that we do that's great. So open coaching calls, we have those during the week. They might be 20 minutes, they might be 45 minutes, but this allows people to get on in smaller settings also and just ask questions or to get a great training from one of our leaders. And so um, this is a, a, another thing that I would definitely add to creating your community. And it allows you to get to know each other, get, get to know other people in a, in a one, more one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, so support, of course, is, is, is so important. So some things that we do inside of our Health Made Simple um, group is that we have podcast posts, things that inspire us. We listen to something and we're like, yeah, that could really support them. Motivational quotes, helpful recordings to share and support our partners, daily posts with awesome ideas. So this is a, another wonderful, wonderful way to um, create community inside of, of, of your business. And events, just like you, events are at the heart of most of our most of our Juice Plus organizations. And, you know, um, again, Tony has built this just beautiful way, place that we can share education. So educational webinars through our community and our, and, and, you know, what corporate offers us, which is so fantastic. All these amazing speakers, you know, like Jeff Olson and Mitra Ray and Casey Schloss and um, kids classes, plant potlucks, cooking classes. Um, this all creates community, and this is where relationships, relationships and trust are built, and it brings us all together. So look ahead. I really, truly believe that our community um, has, you know, really stood the test of time because of our consistency, our support, and, you know, our hard work and our friendships. That is what's created our Health Made Simple community. 
just like, you know, I'm sure that that's what's being created in yours right now. So the greatness of a community is most accurate, accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. Sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just to show up, show up for your team every week, show up for that 30 minute call, that 30 minute connection call every single week. I promise you will help your business grow and make you feel more part of your tribe of people alone. We can do so little, but together we can really, really do a lot. And our Health Made Simple community is my community, right? It shows me teamwork. It teaches me teamwork. It um, helps us build growth, helps us have fun, helps us have love. And I think right now more than ever, community is what everyone needs and what everyone is looking for. So to end with, I love Juice Plus, but it was the, really the community that I was drawn to. I love Juice Plus. I've been using it for 16 years as an athlete, now as a mom. But honestly, it's this community that gets me excited to get out of bed every day and be like, yes, I want to share these plant powders. I want to share the Juice Plus Complete. I want to share the community. I want people to know that there, that there is a tribe of people out there that want to support them, right? So lean in on your community. And if you're new, and you don't have a community, start building it, right? You can totally do it, start building it. And that's when people will be like, yes, I wanna be a part of that. Um, and then the longevity, I feel like of my business and of our consistent growth, I have to give credit to everyone, a part of, of our community, this Health Made Simple, right? And all the amazing and beautiful people that are in it that show up for me and I show up for them. They support me and I support them. And lastly, Jenna's going to talk on this next, but if you give your customers community and consistent value, yes, Juice Plus, but other consistent value, they will trust you deeper and continue to thrive with their Juice Plus. So with that said, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here and be with you, creating community. And um, next up is my sister, and I'm um, half sister, I will call her, um, Jenna Rude. I met Jenna when she was 13 and she is a force, a beautiful, amazing mom, and more importantly, a wonderful, wonderful leader and friend. So thank you guys so much. Be well, keep building community. And I promise you when you bring, when you create community, that's when you will find the biggest love and the biggest growth in your business. Yeah, and inside of yourself and build yourself with that courage. Yeah. So thank you guys. Have a great one. Bye. Thank you, Caroline, so much. I will take it. I am your sister forever and ever. And hi, Juice Plus family. I am so happy to be here with you today. My name is Jenna. I'm calling in from Charlotte, North Carolina. I have been a Juice Plus customer since I was five years old. I've been a partner since I was 18 years old. Also, so has my husband, Jake. We met when we were 18 years old at UCLA, and we have worked this business together since then. It's our full-time career. We're so blessed to be a part of the Juice Plus company. We now work from home together, raising our two and a half year old. And I'm going to share my screen so you can see a picture of her uh, today. Um, she is Le Her name is Leah, and she is definitely the um, queen of the household right now. So we um, are just loving our plant powered girl who's had Juice Plus in her for her entire life, of course. Um, and we couldn't be more grateful to be here today to share with you guys about creating community. So what I'm going to talk to you today about is creating community outside of your own team. So this is your customers, this is your, your friends, your family, your network of people outside of your team. And I love this quote. It says, your smile is your logo, your personality is your business card, how you leave others feeling after having an experience with you is your trademark. And your business is not complete with just a product or a service, you guys. You have to give people an experience. That is what keeps them coming back for more and more. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So how do we create community virtually? We know that ideally we would, of course, want to be hanging out on the beach together, doing in-person events again, all of the things. I mean, just like all of you, I cannot wait to get back to that moment. Um, but the reality is our world has shifted and we have got to 
to pivot. If you haven't already, it's time. We have to, we have to do this. And I will tell you, our team and our community has exploded um, since the pandemic hit because we've been able to reach more people than we ever thought possible by building community virtually. So we're gonna teach you what that looks like today. And you'll see this list of different things that we focus on just kind of as an overview. Um, of course, a family-friendly unified mission, a safe gathering place, um, desirable and relevant added value. So things that your people actually want to hear about, want to learn about, listen to them, figure out what problems they have that you can solve, how you can make their lives better. They will tell you, I promise. Um, of course, make it fun, right? We got to have more fun. Uh, relationship building engagement. So building those relationships, making sure they feel heard, they feel seen, having those authentic conversations, making it a zero judgment zone, show up as you are, who cares if you've had a shower, who cares if you have 10 million kids in the background making a bunch of, you know, chaos behind you, just show up, just be there. And we will be there for you too. Um, and having that two-way trust, right? That accountability, that trust of, of we've got you, you know, we know that, that this is important to you because, this is important to us and we're going to help you on your journey. That is a big part of that mutual just kind of feeling of, of community that we're creating. Um, of course, being consistent, we're going to talk about that showing up and being there for your people and then celebrating the good stuff is the best. So let's jump right into this. Um, hopefully you get at least one or two things out of today, even though I'm going to fly through this, um, that you can take home and implement into your own communities that you are creating. So we do a private Facebook group because that is just what's working for us um, as a community. Um, for our Health Made Simple team, we have a private Facebook group where anyone is welcome um, through, of course, our, our team member base, our customer base, their friends and family, um, anyone who simply wants to eat healthier and live a plant-powered lifestyle, not just customers and team members. Um, and that's really important. We um, didn't do this at first. And when we opened it up and kind of just made it more for anyone who is open to learning, that's when it took off. And that's when it's really created an amazing um, business building you know, tool for our team. Uh, we have, of course, allow community members to add their friends and family. And it kind of feels like this secret kind of club that they know about that they can get people into. Uh, it's been really fun to see them get excited about that. And that's where a lot of our new customers and team members have come from are actually friends and family members of, you know, people that we've added ourselves first. 75% has to be added value. Absolutely. 25%, of course, is Juice Plus specific content as a way to validate your current customers and, of course, intrigue um, potential prospective customers about what we're doing and have them help them learn more. So you'll see um, Amy's post over here. All, she's, all she asked was, what is your favorite can't do without small kitchen gadget in our group? And she had 48 comments of people um, telling her what their favorite thing was. So um, don't underestimate the power of simple questions and just random content that has to do, of course, with, with um, you know, eating healthier and living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, we keep it plant-based in our group. So I really believe that there's power in clarity. And because all of our recipe books through Healthy Living Revolution are plant-based um, and that's what people need the most help with, right? Eating more fruits and vegetables um, and learning how to cook them in fun, creative ways. We keep our group completely plant-based and it actually really empowers our community members to feel comfortable participating because they don't ever feel like, oh, should I post this? Should I not post this? All, all we say is, you know, if it's plants, if it's about plants, go for it. That's what we're talking about here. So we talk about eating more plants and that's what um, makes a big difference. Um, goals, of course, for the group are to turn new members into customers, turn customers into raving fans, turn raving fans into team members, and to turn team members, actually in turn, empower them to create community and grow their customer base. So I love sharing posts in there, kind of peppering them throughout that you see on the right-hand side of you know, knowing, um, you know, how, how you can empower people to share their own story. So just asking them, you know, what's your experience with Juice Plus, with the Tower Garden, with Omegas, put some pretty pictures up there, 
that just um, is eye-catching for someone who maybe doesn't already do that, who's in the group. And the comments, that really becomes a huge business building tool. You can tag people in that later, in that thread later. Um, you can you know, share that um, as a really wonderful um, reference to be able to show how many people are loving their Juice Plus as part of your group. And that's helped a lot of new members turn into customers or to solidify current customers like, okay, I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to keep taking my juice plus every single day. And here's a scroll through kind of what our Facebook group looks like, just so you guys can see. We live stream all of our educational events into this, our weekly guest event, our Sunday meal prep parties that I'll tell you more about in a little bit. Um, we do keynote webinars, of course, and master classes, um, you know, whenever we we book those throughout um, with anyone who wants to speak and share who has a platform outside of Juice Plus, they can share. And then don't uh, forget about the amazing Juice Plus TV episodes that our company is sharing with us. You can actually create a watch party in your Facebook group so that people can feel like they're a part of the event live um, and communicate, comment, you know, connect with people while you're watching it together. Uh, we also do our Make a Life Monday event so that you're also incorporating the business um, in a way that someone could just either in passing, see it, be curious about it, listen, watch, and maybe, you know, you will grab some of those people that you didn't intentionally invite to take a look at this. We've had a number of team members come out and just say, hey, I, I watched the live stream of Make a Life Monday and I want to I want to do this. I want to be a partner, be a part of what you guys are doing. Um, so don't forget about the business. Make sure you're also constantly inviting people to be a part of this um, business community just as much as you are solidifying them as a customer. And shorter interviews and stories are great too. Um, so don't just you know have the content be 30 minutes, 45 minutes, but pepper in those um, you know, five minute quick stories or someone just going live, we encourage, you know, people to do that throughout our team too. Uh, we also do monthly happy hours and the end of the month wrap up celebrations, sometimes with giveaways, depending on what's going on, uh, live workouts, YouTube channel content sharing. So Juice Plus has amazing videos. You guys know this. Um, we just share those into the group. Um, and again, that's part of that 25%. Um, and, and it's amazing to see how much that, that does to solidify customers. Um, JuicePlusInsights.com resources tab has fantastic images. The FreedomRevolution.com has a giveaways tab that is incredible. I still can't believe we have access to all of this content. So if you're feeling like, oh, I don't even know where to start with this, go on there and save some of your favorite images and your favorite recipes, and that will build out your content for your groups. Um, and then of course, the quotes and the memes and the plant-based recipes and the engagement questions or polls, that's all amazing. Anything you can do there um, will be really helpful to continue sharing. Um, we also do monthly themes. So um, there's actually a place on the Freedom Revolution with 12 months of monthly themes. You don't have to come up with them yourself, but we love to do this. Um, we created three new ones for this year to just have something fresh and inspired. And, um, and it's great because we theme our events around those throughout the month. We also theme our meal prep parties uh, based off of what the theme is. And it gets people really excited to plug in. And of course, we make sure there's a dance party <laughs> Jake's dance moves um, we have to we have to have fun you guys we've got to get back to having more fun um, throw away you know throw away the rules um, let's get let's get back to goofy and to authentic and to real and this is what we do we get together as a community every Sunday 3 p.m same zoom room every week we you know, we jump on and a different leader will be the host. And then we have three different chefs that they usually choose from their own team. Um, and they show and demo different recipes, three different recipes. We put those recipes into a shopping list. We post it the week before. We put the full recipes in a Google folder for easy access and sharing. And we don't really do a presentation. We just incorporate stories and education throughout the hour. We keep it fun, um, make sure that Juice Plus is kind of filtered throughout, but it's not, you know, the focus. The focus is 
looking around and seeing families cooking together and kids dancing and um, just people smiling. And, and that is what is building this amazing community up. Um, and so we've heard so many stories, you know, of, of um, empowerment from our community members. Um, of course, our neighbors next door, I love seeing their faces on there with their two little girls cooking, even though we can't be together, we live right next door. Um, you know, I love seeing them on there. Um, but another one I love is um, one of our community members shared that her adult children who are living with her actually haven't done anything with her. They haven't been able to bond over anything until these meal prep parties came into her life and that they look forward to coming in there and helping her with the meal prep and with um, making the food every Sunday and dancing around the kitchen with her. And she says she feels more connected to her family than ever thanks to our meal prep parties. So I know it's it seems maybe like oh, this is a lot of extra work, but we make so much more progress with these events um, than we do with almost anything else because it just validates where our hearts are, where our passion is, and why we do what we do. Um, the Zoom happy hours are fun too, and you guys can just have fun with this. It can be whatever you want, but um, the way we use it is really as a chance to showcase customers' experiences and their stories. So we ask our customers to share as part of this. We ask everyone to bring their favorite mocktail or cocktail to the happy hour. Um, we make sure that it's full of fun games. Jake has come up with everything from two truths and the lie in the chat box to plants plant-based or not a game where he just you know shows a different brand of food and you have to guess if it's plant-based or not um price is right trader joe's plant-based shopping edition we've done all different things um just for fun and um it's pretty cool how people um people show up for this each each month and they keep coming back um just to spend time together um, so we're, we really do feel more connected than ever, actually, even though um, in most cases that shouldn't be the case. And Zoom is hard. So I know um, I know that some of you feel like oh, it just doesn't feel the same and I get it, but we have to make it work. And um, a way that we do that is we keep it really relaxed and fun um, in addition to being professional. So we make sure it's, a, it's a, an enjoyable experience. There's not a lot of extra background noise or, you know, make sure you know how to run a Zoom room effectively so that it's um, enjoyable for someone watching and there's not a lot of technical errors. Um, but use the chat box, you know, for icebreaker questions. Use the Zoom poll function to help people feel heard. You can um, Google it if you don't know how to use that. It's a really great tool. Um, you can encourage people to show their video. I just always say like, come as you are. I try and not dress up for Zooms a lot of the times because I want them to see like I'm in my sweatshirt and my hair's in the top knot and I'm like, I haven't showered either. Like show, show your Zoom, show the chaos in the background with your six kids running around in a big pile of laundry. We don't care. We're just so grateful that you're here. So the more real we can be, the more authentic we can be, the better off um, we will be at creating that community. Um, and I just always acknowledge how amazing it is to see smiles and set of masks, right? Um, when we're talking to each other in person, our face is covered up, but on Zoom, it's not right now. So use that to your advantage. You know, we're so blessed to have this community. And I say that over and over again. And I think that repetition really makes people realize, yeah, I am blessed to be a part of this. I am, this is a really cool thing. Um, and you can break up the content too of Zoom. So it doesn't just feel like a presentation, but it feels like more of a conversation. Um, with more stories, more questions in the chat box throughout. Um, you just want it to feel like you're hanging out with each other um, instead of just always like a presentation. I think that's really helpful. And we also have some of our um, team members who do live close together and feel comfortable getting together in smaller groups of two or three people. Um, they will actually cook together in someone's kitchen. So the host of the meal prep party or of the event, um, they're together. And that creates a whole different um, energy, right? They're able to interact with each other. It feels like you're watching a cooking show um, instead of just everyone being by themselves. And that's been a really great tool too. So last point of, if, of this presentation today is about creating your personal community with your customers and prospects. And this is such an important thing. Um, I think, especially for those of you who are just getting started and you're like, I don't have a lot of people yet. I don't really know where to start. Start with 
you start with your brand and what you're building. You are your brand. So um, you have to go where your people are. Uh, something that I think a lot of people make a mistake about is they love a certain platform. So that's where they hang out. But a lot of the people that they know are somewhere else. So you have to go where your people are. Um, for me, that's Instagram. So I love connecting with people on Instagram. Um, I make smaller group message threads of about 25 at a time and post in each once a week to make sure that um, I'm staying connected and they're hearing from me. Um, on a platform that I know they're going to get that message on <laughs> every week. That's been fantastic. Um, I do that for my customers. I do that for my team members. Um, that's been a really great, a really great tool. And then we do a weekly email update. This is something you don't have to do, but I think it's a game changer. I mean, email marketing is definitely not going away. And it's something that um, is a great tool to be able to update your group of people that want to hear from you what's going on what events are coming up what's your favorite recipe this week whatever you want to share with them it does not have to be um, complicated it can just be simple and stealing from the content we already have okay um, so think of your feed and your stories as a constant connection and community creation tool um, the number one reason your customers and team will disappear is if they feel that you don't care about them even if you do so we have to get back Back to making sure we're consistent with this and that you're connecting with them on a regular basis. So just a little side note, I hope that helps you guys. And my last thought for today is just, I want you to show up, you guys. I want you to show up for you, for your dreams. I want you to wake up early, keep doing the work, even if you don't freaking feel like it. I know it's hard. Everyone's tired. Everyone's stressed. Everyone has a million things going on, but it's you showing up for you and your goals and your passion and your mission that will make all the difference. And when you do that, people will start showing up for you. And I hear this all the time, like, oh, I just wish I had more followers or I wish I had more customers or team or just people in my life to talk to. And I want to encourage you today to start relentlessly loving on the people that are already in your life, even if it's just one person. I can guarantee you that if you can't take really good care of one person, you will not be given the opportunity to take care of a thousand or 10,000 or more than that. <laughs> you have to start with the people in your life. And if you love on them and if you take care of them, you will create an amazing community and you'll look back one day and there will be thousands of people clapping for you and, and thanking you for changing their life. And you will not even understand how it happened, but it will. And it's because you showed up for them first. So I can cannot be more grateful, more blessed to be a part of this Juice Plus family. It brings tears to my eyes, as you guys can see, um, because I don't know a world without this Juice Plus community in it. And my mom learned about this when I was five years old. And, um, you know, you're my family. I wish I could hug every single person right now. Um, we're here with you. Um, I want to tell you that you are in the right place at the right time with the greatest company in the world, with the greatest product. And if you will stay in your lane and stay focused and make sure that you are doing your job to share this with more people every day, you will see incredible things happen in your business. You will see incredible growth happen in your personal life. You'll be a better person because of it. You'll have more friends than you ever thought <laughs> you could. You'll feel more connected than you ever have. And you'll create that community that I think everyone wishes and dreams that they have in their life. So it's our job to share that with the world. And I couldn't be more excited to introduce you guys to um, my amazing friends, Mari Lowley and me, Bell, who are going to share with us next. Um, they are actually zooming in together, I believe, and they're gonna take it, um, take it away with this next segment. So off to you ladies, thank you so much. Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. One of the places where we build our community I am Yvette Tirado. And I am Marilo Lercera, and we are National Marketing Directors from Puerto Rico. We are so happy to be here with you today to talk about community, something we cherish so much and we are so proud of. A community is built among people with the same vision and interests, and it can be grown little by little with patience, perseverance, and consistency. Yes, for me, community is like a tribe. It is my people with whom I want to surround myself all the time. People who feel me, 
at me, inspire me, give me peace, give me light, give me energy. These are the people that ignite my soul. I consider them my extended family. It is very important to remember that the people around you can lift you up or lower you down. Mm -hmm. Find people who like the flame of your passion. You want to surround yourself with people who make you a better person, with those on the same mission as you. People want to belong to something bigger than themselves. Mm -hmm. And how about a positive group who is promoting healthy lifestyles and now more than ever is crucial. So Miguel, how do you grow a community? Well, first of all, you find a body. The number one tip, Jay Martin, our founder, is always sharing is to find a body. So you don't feel all alone when, well, you are, well, you can start creating an awesome community with the people you know. Begin sharing your stories with everyone you know. We are on a mission, so we want to take action as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Yeah. Second of all, you want to share your product and business stories with everyone around you. You, you will surely start uh, talking to people who are closest to you, your family and your closest friends. Maybe you are going to be very excited and it can happen that someone says no or is not interested and that definitely can frustrate you, but it doesn't uh, mean that the rest of the universe will say no. I turn now into on, into on, on with the mission, on to share my story with somebody else. Exactly. Okay. Third of all, memory jogger, be sure to write the name of everybody you know in a notebook and create your memory jogger. This is your business plan. If you don't have a memory jogger, you don't have a business plan. You can find a great example of a memory jogger in the Freedom Revolution website. Four, start planning events. Schedule them first. Write them in your agenda. Create the invitation and invite people. Remember to invite enough people because many of them won't attend. And that's okay. It's part of the, of, of the business. One of our favorite apps to create invitation is uh, an images is Canva. To develop your invitation skills, go to thefreedomrevolution.com. That's the training website of the company, like the Just Plus University. Exactly. Uh, here you will find all you need to know to start your, your business and build it. After you invite your friends to the event, number five is the follow-up. Follow up with them before the event to see if they are coming or not. And this is another skill that you will need to develop as well. Number six, do the events no matter how many people attend or arrive. You know what, Mariloli? In my first event, I invited 25 people and only two <laughs> arrived. Oh my God. And those were my neighbors. <laughs> but after seven years, they are still my customers. So yes, that could happen. Yeah. And actually, my story is worse than yours. Really? Because yes, you did events, <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> you know, at first I did not follow the system mm -hmm. and I didn't do any event. I just talked to people randomly. But after three years, one of my uplines told me that if I wanted to grow my business, I should be doing events. Mm -hmm. You see, events are the engine that moves our businesses. So I started doing events right away and my business skyrocketed. Mm -hmm. And thanks to you, that we were doing events when I came and Teresa and Wanda, I learned right away that doing events frequently and consistently is what we need to do in order to grow our businesses. And so I did, so thank yes. you so much for that. So Mariloli, tell them what, what are the steps that we need to follow in an event? Okay, so overall, we share our stories and experiences mm -hmm. with the products and business. All you need is this, this is very simple, you know, our boxes with our products. Sometimes we use the company's presentation that you have in the Freedom Revolution website as well. And other times we just share our stories very organically. We are going to show you in a little while examples of our events. Then you need to follow up again with the people that attended the, the event and with the people that did not go. Remember that all you need to learn in, on this is in the Freedom Revolution website. 
This is the system. It is so simple. We do it over and over again. And we teach this to everybody because this is how we grow our businesses and the community as well. Now we are going to share some events we're done and still do consistently here in Puerto Rico. We began small, like having one-on-ones. Mm -hmm. You can have a conversation over coffee, lunch, wine, beer, whatever you like most with another person and talk about your experience and your plans with the business. And maybe you'll find your body there or not. Okay. So we host small events, right? Like I do it in my house. And I do it in my personal training studio. But me, Bell. I want to ask you, mm -hmm. do you always have your house this clean and neat? <laughs> no, I wish, but no. And you know what? At first, when I started the business, I, I had my four kids at home and my, whole, my house wasn't, you know, this clean and neat and organized. So you don't need to have your house or space perfectly clean or organized in order to, you, to do uh, an event. You know why? Because people will think that in order to have an event, they have to be perfect as well. And that is not duplicable. Mm -hmm. So stay away from perfection. Stay away yeah. from perfection, please. <laughs> We've done at home presentations with, with several things, you know, like one simple change, healthy living, shred 10. We share our business opportunity. We do mimosa and wellness, wine and wellness. From the tower to the table, this is specifically is very cool because you invite people to your home. If you have a tower gar garden, they will see it and make some dinner or simple recipes with ingredients from the tower. Mm -hmm. Another one is power couple night. We share as couples how the business have helped us. Mm -hmm. You can do it as simple as you want. Just have water, some fruits and nuts, if it's possible for you. Really, you don't need to do anything fancy. Right. We also meet in coffee shops, parks, restaurants. Once a month, we host community events for customers and partners. And during this past year, all of this, we've done it. Uh, we, we, we did it by Zoom. Uh, Prevention Plus, uh, this is a talk or a presentation or a seminar with different health topics to give the community, our customers and partners more value. Uh, salad in a jar. This is the most attended event. Everybody loves Love this it. event. Uh, prepare an ingredient list as to bring their favorite ingredient. Everybody needs to bring their jar or maybe you can provide uh, for them the jars and you can you teach them how to prepare them. Iron Shred is a collaboration that we did with uh, lots of people. We introduced the Tower Garden and three chefs prepared shred approved recipe with ingredients from the tower. Everybody has the opportunity to taste them and choose the best recipe. Taste the shred, we've done it, we've done a lot, lots of them. them. And, and, and in this kitchen, it's like a potluck dinner. We bring a lot of shred approved recipes and everyone gets to taste them. People share their experiences with the shred 10 meet new people and we have fun doing it. Yoga and smoothies. We do yoga or different kind of exercises in different places. And after we uh, exercise, we drink our smoothies. We show the complete protein and share experiences about it. The 5K, it's a simple fun uh, run or walk. So people get to experience our community. I love it. Tower to table or tower to pizza other things that we've done in collaboration with chefs and have, make, and have them make recipes from the tower. You can do it as simple as in your house, like we explained before, or you can go the extra mile and find a restaurant or a gastronomic park as you see it in this picture. Fit family events. This is a great event to invite families to the community. Do it in a park or a beach or in any outdoor places, place. You can do different modalities of exercises and meditation and smoothies. We always share our experiences. Uh, this was another, another event that we made when the Omega came in 2017, get ready for the new vegan. This was a collaboration in a shopping mall 
with a physician talking about the importance of omegas and a nutritionist talking about our product. Another great event that we had is the power of saying yes. <clears throat> Three partners sharing their experiences of health, business, and life. We also do lots of vendor tables, lots of them, among other events. All these are events to invite new people, grow the con customer community, and add more value to them. One tip that has worked great for us is to add all of our customers in a Facebook group to keep them educated, motivated, and when we are doing the Shred 10, we offer them support there. Yes. Now we are going to share examples of our team events for our partners. It is very important to maintain our partners engaged as well. Keep them excited, interested, and find resources to keep them motivated. Every Monday night, we have our team trainings, an hour. Okay, every Wednesday we host presentations sharing the product and the business opportunity to invite new people via Zoom. We do, do so in collaboration with Laura Morelos, our new sales director for the Hispanic market. She's awesome. Twice a month, we have our leadership meetings to plan our events in advance and to be organized. We've done and still do team celebrations or, or achievement events. Mm -hmm. Once a month, Usually the first Monday of every month, we celebrate our promotions, qualifiers, top sales, and top sponsors. We love to party and get together. This is part of our culture. So we celebrate everything. During pandemic, we've done it by Zoom. Of course, face-to-face -face parties are better. So little by little, yay, hopefully we are getting back to normal. Yes. We also host regionals, workshops, usually every three months, boot camps. And now more than ever, we are taking advantage of all the events that the company offers through Zoom specifically. Those hosted by Gustavo Beltran, regional director of Mexico that includes the entire Hispanic community. Mm -hmm. It is very important to always, always encourage everyone to go to the Juice Plus Live, like this one, mm -hmm. so they can experience our community and culture and see the big picture. Now they are virtual. However, hopefully we are looking forward to meet face-to-face -face in October. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we created a team by duplicating this simple system. In addition to our Facebook group for customers, we have our Facebook group for partners. In that Facebook group, we share everything related with the team, promotions, invitations, events, education, personal growth. So now I, I hope, we hope, yeah. you have more or less a vision of what we do here in Puerto Rico as a team. We also have smaller teams within our partners community and each of them also hosts their own events and trainings. Knowing the importance of hosting events, you need to know that staying connected with your upline, downline, and sidelines <laughs> is crucial to grow the community. Even in pandemia, we stay connected. Thanks to technology, now it's easier to get together. It is also important to have an identity as a group or team. That's why every team has a name and it can evolve over time. For example, at first, we call ourselves Team Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. Then we evolved to Team Revolution because our team was expanded out expanding outside the island. Then when the company started with the Revolution branding, we decided to change the name and it was a great opportunity for us to rebrand and innovate. So from Team Revolution, we changed it to Team Fireflies. And Team Fireflies represent the uh, like to others, awareness of the importance of our planet and, and environment, inspiration and empowerment to others so they can shine no matter their circumstances. So, you know, this is a people's business. And in order for you to work with people and attract more people, you need to develop yourself as a better person. Yes. 
That is why personal development is crucial for your business and for the community. At first, you know, I didn't want to see myself as a salesperson, but with the change mm -hmm. of our minds, right. now I know, and I know that you do too. So mm -hmm. we know that instead I offer hope, help, excitement, and possibilities. I love to recommend this book, The Four Amendments by Don Miguel Ruiz. I know that you love it too. Yes. And it teaches us, first of all, to be impeccable with your word. And for also for that, we also have a code of ethics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You need to speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Second, don't take anything personally. This is very important, okay? Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality. When you are immune to the opinions and actions of others, you won't be the victim, victim of needless suffering. Third, don't make assumptions. Also, this is very important in this business and in life. Find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. With just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. Mm -hmm. And four, always do your best. Your best is going to change from moment to moment. It will be different when you are, you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. All this is very important to create community because in order to find the best, empowered people, you have to lead by example and be the best version of yourself. This leads to a healthy community. Mm -hmm, right, thank you for that. In, in closing, a community should be, first of all, purpose-driven. And although we always say that this is the best health club, <laughs> it is much more than a club because of our purpose. Absolutely. That aligns with the company's purpose and mission. Number two, keep your focus on, on your members, your customers and partners. It's all about the people, not about you. Focus on service and the needs of others. Number three, be deliberate in your decisions about the community and its culture. We have it easy. The company has built a very strong culture like no other company and it is so easy to apply it to the community you are building. Number four, involve your members. Everybody can offer something and bring it to the table. Delegate to those partners that show commitment. They will grow by actively participating in the events you organize. Number five, empower your members. Leadership is not about being the smartest person in the room. Instead, it's finding and empowering other smart people. There is a quote from Helen Keller, alone we can do so little, Together, we can do so much. And it is oh, so true. Oh, it is so true. You can, you find a body, begin with someone, that someone invite others, two can lead to four, four can lead to eight, and eight to 16. Mm -hmm. The louder your voices, the more rich you're going to have, and more people can hear you. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun, and make people feel so good that they want to come back. Be authentic, be creative, be energetic, enthusiastic, but don't try to be someone else. Everybody has their own talent and their own person personality. Remember, this is a community, not a competition. Mm -hmm. And as John Lennon says, said, small acts when multiplied by millions of people can transform the world. Right. So e e start, start creating, creating magic, magic moments. moments. <laughs> wow thank you to our four national marketing directors for sharing with such energy and enthusiasm we all want to make a difference we all want to be a part of something bigger than ourselves and community is about doing something together that makes belonging really matter 
And the Juice Plus Company gives us this platform for inspiring healthy living together. Thanks, everyone. Have a wonderful day.